Hello viewers and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna continue playing Darkest Star Hearts of Iron game, this time in Vanilla. I'm going to continue the 1936 early war Germany run. In the previous episode we got Poland on our alliance and they're going to prove to be extremely valuable allies in this little endeavor. And in the end of the previous episode we also created a little bit of unsettlement here in the Carpathia Mountains I believe. So, in this episode we're going to continue the war against the Soviet Union. Now, what I'm going to do, that I kind of forgot to do, is middle control of Vichy France. I'm of course going to leave one uh, unit on the coastal provinces, since I don't really want them to get naval invaded. They probably won't since I manhandled the United Kingdom, but it's better to be safe than sorry in every situation. So I'm going to take as many units as I can here, maybe also take one from Toulon. And the rest of these units can probably go here to this Polish province. Now what the AI has that the player doesn't is a maximum shred redeployment time of two weeks. So for example if you're shred redeploying from Siberia to I know the European front is the AI, you're going to uh, take two weeks maximum no matter what. So, um, unfortunately, this is one of the ways that the AI in Darkest Star Hearts of Iron game cheats. And there's no real way to circumvent this, but it is what it is. It's not like it's going to matter in this game, but it's a pretty interesting thing to know for all of you. Okay, I have researched something important and I completely ignored researching anything. Unfortunately, uh, one of my tech teams is researching... Uh, well, not unfortunately, but uh, they're researching 1939 winter equipment for infantry. So, knowing how the war went in our timeline, it's a pretty good idea to research this. And I'm kind of done organizing, I guess. So I'm going to just go here and see what happens there's a logistics wizard here so that's very nice hmm. unfortunately since uh, my units have made it here to Volkovysk but there's a hefty chance that they're not going to make it out of here out of their alive which kind of sucks but what can you do I have this uh, amazing idea of getting an settlement here uh, in Bessarabia since I presume that the Soviets will be relatively vulnerable. Since I have broken through their line. And well, we're going to continue this offensive to the end and see it through. Hmm. Unfortunately, they have regrouped here, but I think I'm going to be fine. We encircled them here in Hutten, so that's very cute. Ten divisions, which is very huge. But I'm not going to close the pocket quite yet. We have also finish that one pocket in three. Um, I probably mispronounced that promise completely, but uh, who cares? Yeah, this army... Uh, well, they can break them there in lots. I don't really care too much about it. But I don't really think it's super necessary. Mm, let's be a little bit greedy here and go after Vinica. Yeah, as you can see here, they broke very quickly. And I'm going to go... Maybe something like this. It's uh, very, very unlikely that this is going to work out, but against the Soviet Union, in the beginning you have to be extremely aggressive if you want to win. It seems that they're going to break through in Volkovysk here, which is extraordinarily annoying, but there's nothing really I can do about it. So I guess maybe we can finish off Hutin after all. 10 divisions gone, and 7 divisions and 3 gone. Oh, the Soviets still have so many divisions, but thankfully it's a very huge blow to their army. I'm going to capitalize on. Okay, let's go to Kaminets Podolsky. So the Soviets are trying to mount some sort of resistance here, but it's not going to work out, of course. Our position is way too strong. Okay, it's... Uh, of course they're going to attack me here, but they're going to lose this battle. I lost them 
Volkawisk, which is very annoying, but I can't really do anything about it. So yes, let's just keep being extraordinarily aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically everyone here can go to Tyranopol. Maybe one army group can wait out here. And maybe this little infantry army can go here as well. Okay, maybe you can support attack in this province. You go and guard it, and you as well. So we are trying to create a huge encirclement here against the Soviet Union, if you could guess already. It's fairly important that I do. Overruns in Darkest Tower Hearts of Iron game are much better to perform, since you don't need to go through the whole trouble of encircling your enemy, but uh, I'm just showing everyone how to do this slightly easier, because overruns uh, constitutes calculating the distance between provinces, and I don't really know that off the top of my head, and etc. But it looks like we might get some overruns here anyway. Which I find to be pretty cool. Alright, so let's slowly but surely close this pocket here. Okay, there we go. And uh, this is, I guess, uh, thumbnail worthy, this little encirclement that I made. Unfortunately, the Soviets are, of course, trying to break out here, but that's not going to help them out. So we can basically start closing this pocket, but I'm going to organize the army here for a second. Uh, Alright, we are going to move into that province. Maybe the Romanian army here can support defense instead. Yeah, another army group can go here. Okay, this little army group has made, it, has made it here, so I'm just not going to be way too aggressive with everything. Now, of course, I don't really want this whole... Oh, my mouse has stopped working. Adorable. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. It's working again. Alright, maybe Rommel can try to hold this Vinitsa province. The Soviets are doing a very good job of trying to break it, but I'm not going to allow it allow them to break it. They have deorbed my tanks, but that's not gonna be enough. Alright, there we go. We have secured the pocket, I like to think. Probably not at 100%, but it's something. Uh, this pocket is... Uh, this line is barely, barely holding, but in just a few more hours, the units will arrive that will hold this. And there we go, the pocket is saved. And the circumference has been completed. Okay. I'm going to organize this Romanian army just a little bit, since I'm in the mood. <sighs> okay. They're going to come here Podolski. Okay, good. Uh, the French reinforcements have arrived too. So I'm going to work them into... Oh, come on, the German divisions. Okay, I'm going to work them into one big army. They have a lot of militia plus artillery here, which is interesting. But alright. And I have quite a few units here myself. Do I have any HQs? No, I have a motor, some motorized, two motorized in total, two armored divisions in total, and some extra infantry that I can utilize. They can go, actually no, they, they should go to Ternopil, they can be utilized there much better. Okay, things are going alright for now. They're not going to break this. I should be slightly, I should have been slightly more careful with the army group here in Uman, but it doesn't matter at this point. The Soviets are done in this whole part. Okay. Yeah, these motorized divisions need to reinforce. My reinforcements are going to shoot up now from 3 to 23, as you can see here. And yeah, that's fine. Because you into Nuvov can go here. 
Let's say I close this pocket up. I have a very nefarious idea that I would like to commit with. I don't know how many divisions I'm going to encircle here because I want this pocket to be closed up as soon as possible. But it's probably a decent amount to put it lightly. Okay, there we go. The Soviets have 301 divisions, it says so currently. The Romanians are going to go here. And here as well, I guess. Well, the Hungarians will go to Vinica. I have very nefarious ideas, as I've said, so I'm going to commit to them. Oh, come on. <laughs> they somehow retreated there, but it doesn't matter. All the Soviets. And I got a light tank division too. That's very nice. It says the Soviets had 300 something, now they're down to 258, so we're doing a very good job of wearing them down at this rate. Make sure divisions can go to Ternopil here. And my units have arrived, so I'm going to give this army an extra division, while the other army groups can get a little bit of reinforcements too. Excellent. Oh, there's some extra ones which I did going to turn up, although I have sent right now. Very interesting choice to go to a province that's already been encircled, so I'm going to try to encircle it again. And there's nothing they can do to stop me. But they're probably going to succeed since, it's, yeah, they retreated. Oh well, it happens. So now I'm trying to see... Okay. Okay, the idea is going to start happening. These units can go to this province of Cherkasy. Cherkasy. I don't really know how to pronounce it in Russian. But I don't really care too much. So... We're going to try to go for a Grand Encirclement of sorts. Against the Soviet Union. If it fails, it will be a bit unfortunate, but... Oh well. I had to try to accomplish it anyway, if I am to win quicker than I, than I would otherwise. I should be kicking butt here, but the Soviets are resisting moderately well. I guess they sense a huge breakthrough going on on the front lines. I'm going to take full advantage of. Mm -hmm. So they began attacking here with the intention of stopping this offensive, but it's not going to be enough, I think. If it is, it's gonna suck and it will be, you know, it will set me back a little bit, which I don't want to see, but it's probably what I'm going to witness here. Okay, wait. Okay, infantry. Winter equipment is still being researched, alright. That's nice. Okay, let's go here now. Because it, it, this area looks to be the most vulnerable one. <sighs> Annoyingly enough, my infantry divisions are not keeping up with my armored units. All kind of makes sense. I'm throwing one hell of an armored spearhead here. I'm going to go into this province, and I'll try to make this whole encirclement work. Yeah, basically everyone and their mother is going to this province. Okay, let's go to Chernigov now. Yeah, this is extremely sloppy and risky, as you can see here. I should have probably set this up better. Well, let's see what happens. It's very likely that the Soviets are going to cut off my armored core or whatever this situation. But the Romanian divisions, I think they should make it first. Oh no, they are not going to make it first. Alright, let's continue to go well. well. This is extremely worrying and annoying. I don't want... Okay, so they want me to cut out... Uh, to want to cut me off in that one province, but I'm of course not going to let them. Oh, I'm really playing with fire here. So these extra units that are being held back can drive to the Eastern Front. Where they'll be put to good use by me, I hope. 
Okay. Maybe if this works out, it's just going to be devastating to the Soviet Union. Right, so some divisions have made it already, which is cute. Actually, maybe going to Mogilev is even better here. Yeah, you see here, they are attacking with 30 plus divisions, but it's not going to be enough, of course. Now, this is looking amazing so far. Me likey. To put it lightly. Okay, there we go. This army group can go into Vitebsk. These 50... They're not going to defeat 50 divisions, let's be honest. There we go. So now I can start helping out with the rest of the army groups here. Okay, maybe you can go here. Okay, Vitebsk. Oh, they have someone in Polotsk. Which is very surprising to me, so this... And circumvent maybe it will take longer than I expected. Or it could even fail completely. Who knows? Okay, so they are attacking me in Chernigov, which is very predictable in a sense. There's so the Romanian divisions. I guess they can go and help out <laughs> here in this central part. But it's, t it's taking my units so long Ugh. to get the okay. The militia can stay while the armored divisions can advance. And there we go. This huge encirclement has been made. I'm going to put these motorized divisions back into Neznin. Okay, there we go. The encirclement has been created, and oof, it's very huge. But, and I think I'm going to end the episode off here, since basically all the Soviet army is encompassed here, so I'm going to clean this and supplement off in the next episode, and probably in the episode after that finish the Soviet Union off. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for the view, and I'll see everyone and else I plan on doing. Goodbye.